Ma'am? Ma'am, wait! This is yours, you dropped it. Yes, it is! Thank you so much! You've got nothing to thank. Just be careful. People here aren't very honest. Truth is, you surprised me. Tell me, do you live around here? No, I just came to leave my resume to a restaurant near here. They're hiring people to wash dishes. And what other jobs did you have? Me? Lots of jobs. I've cleaned windows, I wash cars, I wash dishes at restaurants, and so on. Hmm. And what do you think of becoming a secretary? Ooh, secretary. That sounds too elegant. First, I'll have to learn. I think maybe in the future. And what about now? Hi, Paola. Any new messages? Good evening, doctor. Of course. Here are all of your messages of today. You're always so efficient. You have my agenda in complete order. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. And those books? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I dare to look for some business administration books for me to read. Oh, you're a self-taught person. I love when people get self-qualified. Thank you. Yes, it's just that I wanted to learn a little more to be better at my job. Mm, tell me, are you setting a career? No, not yet. But I'm already saving to pay college. I know I'll start soon. Mm, and what about now? What, what do you mean? Look, I'll give you a special assignment. I want you to look for schools and the career you want to study. And when you have that information, please send it to my office. What do you think? Really? Yes. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Doctor. Excuse me. Look. Is everything fine? Yes, everything's fine. What do you want? The thing is that I need you to sign these papers urgently. Yes. Yeah, I'll sign them. Thank you very much. And uh, wait. I've got something to tell you. From now on, you're not working with me. But why? Well, look, I know you're a nice girl, a hard worker, and you made a big effort on what you do. I've already talked to some of my colleagues, and they'll hire you. But I like working here. If I'm doing something wrong, you tell me, and I, I can improve. Don't worry. You're excellent at your work. They're really nice people and they'll give you good job positions. And now if you excuse me, I need to do some phone calls. <sighs> okay. Excuse me, doctor. This is for you. For me? Yes, I actually wanted to wait for me to turn two years working here, but given the circumstances, I couldn't. It's so, so pretty. It must have cost you a lot. You shouldn't have bothered. No, it was worth it. I have to go out now, okay? I have a meeting. Thank you. Oh my god, stop the car, wait! I can't believe it. Doctor! Doctor, it's you! I can't believe it! Where were you all this time? You got no idea how long I looked for you and nobody knew where you were! I even thought you left the country! Oh my, look at what you've become! You're so pretty! All... All thanks to you. Because of all your help. But... But what happened to you? Why are you here? 
This is the reason why I had to fire you. <laughs> I was diagnosed with a disease. I saw my companies and it still wasn't enough to pay for all my treatment. And this is my life now. <laughs> but why didn't you get in touch with me? Why didn't you look for me? It's just that I was completely alone. <laughs> That's not true. You were always in my prayers. You were in mine too. Look, doctor. You have you have to finish your treatment. But how when? What about now? Fran, please help me. Get my doctor into the car. <laughs> <laughs>